everyone, my name is Philomena Jack and I'm here to help us all create lovely tassels made out of embroidery floss and paper. So you may have been able to pick up a kit that came in a bag like this and yours may look a little bit different, but even if you weren't able to get a kit, the supplies we're gonna be using today are pretty easy to find. You might even have some of them in your house. So what you'll have um, in the kit or what I need you to find are a pair of scissors. Um, in the kit came two different colors of embroidery floss. You'll need some glue, and in your kits you have different kinds of glue. You'll need a couple of beads, and your beads may look different, and you have to be careful if you have pets in your house or if you have little cousins or siblings that like to hang out with you and they like to put things in their mouth. You have to be very careful that no one's putting any of the supplies in their mouth. Um, and maybe even um, a cloth or a paper towel. That didn't come in your kit, but something that you can wipe your hands off on because you'll see the glue sometimes can be a little bit sticky. And I've invited my friend Bunsy Rabbit to join us today. He likes to make crafts as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we can move our beads out of the way. We don't need the beads. And notice I put mine in a little cup so that they didn't roll all over the floor. And right now I don't need the glue, so I'm just gonna move that. And we're gonna start by making our, our tassel out of the thread. So I'm gonna move my paper sample away as well. And this tassel, you could use it as a bookmark, you could use it to decorate a package, you could put it on, um, maybe you have a knob on your dresser or something to decorate. But again, just be careful that pets aren't going to get it or uh, small humans, we don't want small humans to get it. So we're gonna find our thread and you'll see you're gonna take one of your threads is gonna be sort of your main tassel and your other thread you're gonna use for wrapping the tassel. So in the sample that I have here, you can see I had this purple and you could almost imagine it was once attached like that. It's very important that for right now, you don't take the paper off. So this paper that comes on the thread, please leave that on the thread skein, okay? Agreed? Agreed, excellent. We're gonna be careful with our scissors. We can unwrap our scissors. And if you look very closely, you'll notice that your scissors actually have a ruler on them. And this is working in centimeters. In centimeters, otherwise known as CM, CM. Um, and it's five centimeters, uh, which is about two inches. So we're gonna start with one of our um, thread colors. So I'm gonna use this pink one, I think. I'm just gonna move this to the side for now. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at one side may look messier than other the other, like this side looks a little bit messy. So maybe I'm gonna work on the side that's a little bit more neat. And I'm going to just separ gently separate the threads out so I can sort of find the middle. I can sort of find the middle. If you don't get it exact, that's okay. And if the thread gets a little wiggly, that's okay. But I found the middle and I can sort of open that up and then I'm gonna take some of my other thread, my other thread, and pull out about 10 centimeters, which is two times, so there's five centimeters, and there's another five centimeters, and this is just about, so it's about four inches. If it's not exactly that, that's just fine, and I'm gonna carefully cut with my scissors. I can put my scissors down, so now I've got this about four inches or 10 centimeters. I'm going to put it through that um, opening I created. And I'm going to tie a really tight knot. So I've got my th green thread all the way to the top here and I'll do overhand knot. And you may need a little help or you might be really good at this. So there's one, pull real tight. And then I'm gonna do it again. Pull real tight. Excellent, excellent. So now I've sort of got the head of my tassel all organized. 
So now I'm gonna take another piece of thread and this one, maybe I'll make this one just five centimeters or about two inches or a little bit longer. You could always trim it later. And I'm going to make sort of this belt, this belt around the tassel. So I'm just gonna put, so you can see my green, I put it underneath the pink and about halfway through, halfway from here to here I'm gonna tie it in a knot just like I did before easy a peasy uh, take your time no need to rush so there's one tie and I'm gonna do one more tie so it really makes a nice knot nice and tight and I like to trim off these edges so this green here I'm just gonna trim and trim and then I can put these to the side I don't need those but I want these to be long here these are long that's short okay so now we're gonna use this paper wrapper that's on our floss as our guide of where to make the haircut for our tassel so I am going to just pick up my thread and cut very close to the paper. I'm cutting very close to the paper. And it may take you a couple of tries, that's okay. Take your time, take your time. You're just gonna do a couple of threads at a time. And if you have anyone who wants to help you with the scissors, that's fine. Just take your time, take your time. No need to rush. You'll see you eventually get through. And to me, this also looks like a happy little octopus. Can you imagine an octopus? Normally an octopus only has eight arms or legs, but this one has many, many, many. But I imagine it's sort of like this fantasy octopus. And get all the way through. There we go. And then I can put my scissors down. I don't need my scissors for a little while. And now I have my little tassel and you can see where it came off of the thread. And then I can put this to the side because you know what? I can do the exact same thing on this side and make a second one if I want. I'm just gonna put that to the side for now. So we're close to being done. Now we need to find our beads. And again, I put mine in a little cup. Find your beads and at the top, I'm going to start by, let's say I'm gonna choose two beads. So I'm gonna choose this one and maybe this pink one. So I've got sort of a big one and a small one. I'm gonna start by putting the big one, I'm gonna thread both of the top threads through the big bead. That's like a little hat. And then I'm gonna take my second bead and I'm gonna thread it just through one of the threads at the top, just one. The first one we did two threads, this one we're just doing one thread. And then we're gonna tie a knot here. One and two, and you'll see that helps to keep my beads all together. And now if I wanted to, I could tie a little knot at the very top so that I have a way to hang this up. I could always add more thread to the top. So if yours is a little too short, you could always add more thread. So there we go, our first tassel. It looks lovely. What colors did you work with? Everyone's kit has different colors. So if you're sitting with a buddy making this together, your kit may look different than their kit. So there's our first one, so fun. What do you think, Bunsy? Do you like it? I like it too. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna move my beads over to the side and I'm gonna pick up my paper bag. Now your paper bag may have been folded over like this. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off any of the top. So if you had a little piece of tape on there, you're gonna take your scissors and we're gonna cut our bag. And I noticed that there are stripes, there's a plaid on your bag. Uh, that will help you to cut a straight line. So we're just gonna cut off the top. So if you had a little bit of tape on there, you can just cut the top right off, put that to the side. And now here's my, 
my closure. Here's where the bag was closed. I am gonna cut that end of the bag off. I don't need that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to cut all the way up our uh, bag here, stopping about halfway. So somewhere, find a line. I'm gonna draw mine on here so you can see it really well, but I'm gonna see this line here and that's where I'm gonna stop cutting. That's where I'm going to stop cutting. You could draw that on your bag if you want to remind yourself, or you could just remember. So I'm just gonna make some cuts all the way through my bag, stopping at that line. And it's okay if your cuts aren't exactly all the same size. Snip, snip, snip. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna get our glue handy, get our glue handy, and maybe get your cloth handy too, because this glue can be um, a little squishy. It can be a little squishy. We're now going to roll our bag. So here's my part that I cut. I'm just gonna roll this up. And you'll see, you won't even see my line anymore. Rolling, 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 rolling. And then when I get towards the end here, I could do a couple of things. I can take this and sort of pinch this flat, this area that's not cut. I can sort of pinch that flat. That'll make things a little easier for me. Uh, I'm being careful to unscrew the top of my glue. Let's see, and I accidentally took the top off. I didn't want to take the top off. Let me grab another one. No problemo. So we just want to take the top off. So just pull the top off and you'll see you've got this nice little nozzle where the glue will come out. So I'm just going to put a line of glue, a little line of glue, not too much, not too much. And then close that up and rub it real well. And I may have to count or sing a little song, sing my favorite song in my head, la la la, as I'm waiting for the glue to dry. And you may see that if you need a little extra glue, you can always add a little extra glue. And if you get the glue on your fingers, that's why you have your cloth nearby. So if you get glue on your fingers, you can wipe it off on your cloth. So while I'm holding this and letting this dry, maybe I'll cut these tabs. So you see at the end here, you've got all of these tabs that you can cut the loop off. Just cut right through, and then you'll have like almost like twice as many tassels we could also just cut the edge off if you want. You can experiment here. Okie dokie. And maybe you want to let this dry. Maybe you want to go, you know, walk your dog or something and then come back and see if your glue has dried. I'm going to speed along here for the video. So we had this area that we cut off before, which was the top, right? We're gonna use this to make our handle. So all I did was, and maybe I'll trim this up because I don't need it to be so wide, but you experiment. Maybe you wanna make yours really wide. Maybe you have other craft paper in the house and you wanna incorporate that. I'm gonna take my uh, strip that I have here I'm going to put a dab of glue on this side, flip it over, put a dab of glue on that side, and guess what? I'm gonna take this slip of paper, one end goes on one side, and I'll hold it with my thumb, and the other end goes on the other side, and I'll sort of pinch it. Now I'm pinching it. 
And again, good idea to have your cloth nearby because the glue might get on your fingers a bit. I'm just gonna put this down so it can dry some more. And then you'll see on the one that I have prepared before, um, after everything was dry, I went and I started to add some of my thread. So you might wanna go and take some of the thread that you have left over from your project and decorate your tassel even more. You can just cut a length and tie it around like a belt. Can you do that? Tie it around like a belt. Super cute. Ooh, and I could imagine um, making this like a character. Maybe I put a little smiley face on it. There's some eyes and a big old smiley face. Oh, how cute, how cute. Excellent. So again, please be careful with your beads because I don't want anyone uh, getting hurt with the beads. Of course, you'll be careful with your scissors. And when you're done with your scissors, you can put them back in its, uh, in its holder. Bunsy and I are so happy that you can make something with us today. I love these tassels. I'm excited to see uh, what sort of projects you make. Again, my name is Philomena Jack. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for everyone who helped produce this series. Have fun crafting, everybody. Bye.